might pull up in a ghost, no cash between I've been smoking gas and I got no I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my bank account. Yeah, in my bank account. There you go. You're in the car. Oh my god! Yo, what's up guys? It's Celestial Gaming HD and I'm back at you with another dope GTA 5 online money glitch video. And if you guys go on to enjoy this video, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications to all notifications so you make sure to get notified on all my GTA Online videos. Now, big shout out to Freight Train with the fudge because he did find out this way to make it work every time. And also another big shout out to Tuto Facile France, okay? So without further ado, let's get on with this video. Alright guys, so what you're going to need is you're going to need a facility and you're going to want to make sure that your facility is full and you want a vehicle to get rid of in that facility because once you replace over that vehicle it is going to be gone okay so you want to go ahead and tell your friend to bring the car that he's given you and put it by the facility or get in it so he can push you okay with this what's going to be happening is we're going to go ahead and do the new way to get the alert here so we're just going to go ahead and drive to the circle and get on this alert okay now it's changed okay when we get on this alert we can hit the ps button or the xbox button and we can go ahead and drive for a little bit okay so if we hit the PS button or the Xbox button it will allow us to drive for a little bit okay so basically that's the difference between uh, before the patch and after the patch now after we hit the PS button it gives us an opportunity to drive now as you can see once I get into the uh, like close to the facility it's gonna freaking let me go in okay now this is what Freight Train figured out he figured out on the other side it's a little bit more sensitive so basically what we want to do is go ahead and get the alert on this side of the facility so like i said i'm going to rerun with you what i just did so basically we're going to drive up to the facility we're going to get on this alert okay when we're on this alert we can tap the psn button or the xbox button and it will let us return to the game okay so we're going to tap the ps button and then tap it again to come back to the game what that's going to do it's going to put us on the dashboard and then put us on the game for a second and you can also do this with xbox so guys don't say this doesn't work for xbox because it does and it works great okay so basically what we're going to do from here is we're going to go ahead and go to the edge of the facility okay now we are going to get the alert about 10 seconds after we back out of the playstation button so as soon as we hit the playstation button again we're gonna the alerts gonna come back up okay now i just want to keep this clear with you guys once you get back in the vicinity of the facility is when the alert will come back up so i'm just gonna back up and i'm gonna back up right to this side of the facility and once i back up right to this side of the facility it is then gonna go ahead and give me the alert okay so basically what you guys want to do is bring the alert over here that's what we're doing and we're doing that with the PlayStation button. So when we have the alert, we're going to click the PlayStation button and then click it again to bring it over here. Okay, like I said. And then once we have the alert over here, we are then ready for our friend to knock us. And then once he knocks us, as soon as we hear him hit our bike, we're going to then spam X. And then as soon as we uh, go ahead and see ourselves, we're going to go ahead and kill ourselves. Okay, it's really easy glitch, guys. Uh, big shout out to Freight Train, what the fudge, he found this little workaround, made it very easy. And also another big shout out to Tuto Facile France, because he is the original founder of this glitch. So let's get on with this video. So all I'm doing is getting on this alert on the other side of the facility, and I'm basically just waiting for my friend to tap me. Okay, once he taps me, he hits me with his vehicle. Um, it doesn't matter what vehicle he's in, and once he hits me with his vehicle, then we can proceed with this. Okay, so basically... I'm here, I'm waiting for my friend, I'm telling my friend, okay, I'm going to get on the alert, and he's going to basically go ahead and get ready to hit me with his vehicle, okay guys, it's really easy, really quick, really simple, it works every time, 100% of the time, you guys are going to love this shit, I promise. Okay guys, so I'm on this alert, I'm just telling my friend to go ahead and knock me with the car, as soon as he knocks me with the car, I'm going to go ahead and spam X or A for Xbox. And then I'm going to go ahead and kill myself. Once I then kill myself, I'm going to go ahead and proceed to spawn and then go find the vehicle that I want to duplicate. Okay, guys? Really easy after the most recent half is GTA 5 Online. So make sure you guys definitely, definitely subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to Freight Train with the Fudge because he did work on this workaround. 
uh, spend some time on this so make sure you guys definitely check him out so we're just going to go ahead and grab the vehicle that we want to duplicate from our friend and we're going to go ahead and drive it into our facility once we get in the vicinity like i said it's going to give us this full alert and we're just going to go ahead and accept it and then from there all we have to do is replace the vehicle in the facility that we do not want okay so we want some vagios in other garages we want some vehicles in the facility that we do not want and that's pretty much the most part of this glitch we want to make sure that we have everything we need so a bunch of vagios in other garages that's not the facility and then we want our facility full of cars that we don't want so we're just going to go ahead and transfer all our modded cars to our other garages when we're done so we don't delete over our modded cars okay guys and we want to make sure that when we're give, giving cars to friends we're changing the plate before we give them to them because uh, we don't want the place to be dirty okay guys so that is a big deal we want to make sure we are changing the place before we give them to our friends because um, if you give your friend a dirty dupe that could mess up his account and he won't be able to sell any cars and then it gets all messed up so make sure you guys definitely change the place before you hand them over to your friends because that could definitely affect your gameplay all right guys so make sure you guys definitely subscribe to the channel if you're new i'm out dudes